I'm Alex Belinsky. I'm the founder of Prepare to Surf. Back in 2006, I started going to school at BYU during the summer. I felt like I was doing everything right before my mission. Like I, I, I was trying very hard to keep the commandments and do things right. But I remember there was one particular day I was walking across campus and I felt kind of like an emptiness, like, like I'm not doing something that I need to be doing. I read lots of major academic plans, seeing what classes I'd have to take for each major. I felt like I needed to look up President Hinckley's biography. I found out he majored in broadcast journalism. I mean, I'd never heard of that major before, so I applied, got into that major. So the Prepare to Serve idea in a very basic form was kind of spawned back in 2007-ish, probably. You know, there's the prophecy that the gospel will be preached in every, to every nation, kindred, tongue, and people in all the world before the second coming. Through the internet, I feel like that prophecy in large part will be fulfilled here in the next you know, 10, 20, 30 years. I think it's very possible that the whole world will have access to internet. At the beginning of section 17 in Doctrine and Covenants, at kind of the preface to the section, it says how the three witnesses of the Book of Mormon were moved upon by an inspired desire to become the three witnesses of the Book of Mormon. I have a really strong testimony uh, for anyone who wants to serve the Lord and help build up his kingdom and has, feels inspired to do certain projects or, or to serve in certain ways, that if they commit to that, Heavenly Father will prepare the way. I don't think I really feared much the decision to quit my job. We just felt like we needed to, for whatever reason, work on this idea that we had had for quite a while. About a year and a half ago, I started doing interviews. I did a few in my elders quorum, like, hey, any of you return missionaries want to get interviewed about your mission? And at first it was kind of a stressful, like, to set up and stuff and like, move around and maybe awkward at times. But I've done so many interviews now that I feel like you could take the most random person and it would probably work out okay, just because I'm like so used to interviewing people that I wouldn't normally talk with. I wish personally that before my mission I could have heard some of these stories uh, to just kind of see a bunch of case studies. I recently got my call to the Arkansas Little Rock mission and the one thing that's got me worried is the fact that it's in the Bible Belt. What you said is giving me some courage that I hope I can hold on to while I'm serving. I really appreciate your testimony that you shared and thank you for your encouraging words. My two favorite aspects are being able to make lots and lots of friends with return missionaries, hundreds of return missionaries, and then also hearing amazing spiritual testimonies and experiences that really bolster my testimony and uh, get me excited about the work.